gotta be trained. That's why it's convoluted. Yeah. Convoluted. That's it's like a cross section. Ambiguous, that's what it is. Got a lot of ambiguity. All right, Jackie, come here real quick, please. I mean, do you, do, does everybody know Jackie? Jackie Burke? Uh, Lady on it, dogs. No one yeah, yeah. Know Jack. Jackie, Jason, Pat, Dave, Luke, these are my two interns, Hi. and Daryl. Okay. You gotta watch your language about him. He's kind of like, you know, kind of underage and stuff. All right, sorry. So, <laughs> so, so this is Jackie Burke. So you're in live, so I'm oh, right. not live. Real quick. All right. Sign out. All right. So what you do once you place the beam in the in the form here, you tighten it up all the way down as far as it goes. Then you come over here. There's a little key here. You turn it once or twice. You hear the kicking? I can mm -hmm. talk. All right, then you lift this up, put it in here, insert it, close this. What? Well, not yet. All right. All right, now, once you've done all this, this one actually works. This one, you turn the wheel all the way down. Turn it clockwise. Yeah, you close this. Create pressure as you see the thing is coming up. All right. Yeah. All right. And you raise it up. And then you pump this just until you give it a little pressure. So you feel it get a little. Yes, a little pressure. You'll see the needle go up a little bit. Yes. See the red, uh, the needle go up. All right, now take the, take the little cap here off. Put it at zero. And then you go at 20, well, right here. Then you tighten this. Now it'll grab, this will grab the, the sheet and then it'll start making, start turning it, as you can see. So now as you turn, it'll, it's, the way this works is pressure over time. As it turns, you put pressure on it. That's the time. So you put pressure on it, and this should, you know, should move, as you can see. And then you just keep try to keep the needle on the line. We go with B because it's a six by six beam. Then you just wait, and it's all just about. Going into it breaks. Hopefully, we get a good break on this. What do you want it to break at about? Uh, five fifty. Five. Five. Four, we want five fifty, but I doubt we're going to get that on, on the twenty-four hour break. But the higher, the better, because we got another day to break another beam tomorrow. So, putting on YouTube, man. No, I'm just recording yeah. it for my own reference. You putting on YouTube, man. Now Martin's on Facebook Live. <laughs> Say no. Nah. Man, let me nah. tell you something, man. I ain't gonna be sitting there and listening to rap music, man. <laughs> uh, YouTube Live. All right, we're at 200 right now. And then there's two more beams in the back of my truck. One of you guys can practice. Leanne's gonna practice on one. And more than one specs that I'm gonna. That's 300. I guess as it keeps going more, that's when you keep putting more pressure down. Uh, 24 hour beam, this is pretty good, 400. Maybe. 
400 already. What was the last time we went through? Normally, normal beam, because this is a high early concrete mix. It's designed to break within a certain amount of time. Okay, we got it. And that barely popped. So.